On this week's Friday Five, how Card Hop makes managing contacts on your Mac fun. One of the great things about Card Hop is that it allows you to access and manage your contacts from virtually anywhere on your Mac. And one reason for that is because you can quickly access Card Hop directly from the menu bar, just like this. You can even detach it from the menu bar, move it around, and you can minimize it directly into its app icon and access it via its app icon running in the dock, just like this. So it's very flexible in that regard. Now let's go ahead and reattach it to the menu bar. And now let's go into the preferences and talk about my favorite way to access Card Hop. That is of course using its keyboard shortcut, which is customizable. The great thing about that is that it allows me to access Card Hop from anywhere on my Mac without moving my hands from the keyboard so I can quickly access it even if I'm using another application like that. Now Card Hop is from the same people that brought you Fantastic House, so it's no surprise that it uses natural language input as a means of control. It's almost like having a command line terminal dedicated specifically to managing contacts. It's really awesome. So I can search, as you saw there, search in the notes, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Look at all we can do. We can create a new contact based on natural language so I can type the name of the contact and then I can even specify certain details that I want to include such as email address and see it automatically populates that it recognizes that I just typed an email so I can add to contact and it includes that pertinent data. Now let's go ahead and drag an avatar over there to make it official and we're good to go with Ducky Benjamin but but what if I forget to add something and I want to do so later? Is it a difficult process? Well, as you can see, not at all. Simply search for your contact, append the information that you want to add, and then click on update. And that's pretty much it. So I'm adding a Twitter handle and a phone number, and it automatically parses that data, recognizes what it is, and properly appends it to the already existing contact. That is awesome. But it's not just about adding contacts, you can actually issue commands on existing contacts like this. So mail, ducky, TPS reports, that TPS reports is automatically populated in the subject line of my new email. But as you may have guessed by now, it doesn't stop there. You can of course make phone calls directly, just call space ducky, and there we go, making a phone call just like that. Now let's use card hop to send a new tweet to one of our contacts and you can go into the preferences and specify your client of choice. So in this case, I'm using TweetBot. So after we type a message, we're ready to send our tweet. Now, what about driving directions? What if you have an address in one of your contacts and you want directions using Apple Maps or Google Maps? Well, you guys know the drill by now. Directions to Seth, return. And it defaults to Apple Maps, but if you prefer to use Google Maps, you can do that as well. So there we go, we're ready to get to Seth, but it may take a little while. All right, let's move on. As you may have saw earlier, you can add notes to your contacts with ease using Card Hop. So we'll just search for a contact and then add some notes in there. And the notes are prominently displayed, and that's handy because say you put some very important information in those notes that don't really apply to any of the other fields, now you can see those prominently whenever you pull up that contact. What if you wanna add a contact to a group? Type the contact name, slash, and the name of the group like this. So I added Seth to my business group. So that makes it very easy to contact, say for instance, via email, all the members of that group in one fell swoop. One of my favorite features of Card Hop is this, the ability to highlight text from anywhere on your Mac and send directly to Card Hop using a service. Now Card Hop is smart enough to parse that data and create a new contact based on the text you highlight. So let me show you. Services, send to Card Hop, bam, 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 bam. Look at that. Now if the name of the place was there, it would also fill that in as well, but we can just go in and edit that. And then we just add contact. Now, let's go ahead and update that icon, the avatar. So we can use this option here to keep card hop in front so it stays displayed. And that makes it easy to drag that avatar right onto the contact. By default, card hop features a standard contact template when adding new contacts, but you can go into the preferences, click on template, and customize the default fields to your liking. So if there's a field that you, you just know you won't use, such as birthday, delete birthday, 
can customize anything else. You can add a field if you want to. We're gonna add Twitter and there we go. We've customized the default template. So now when we add a new contact, notice the fields that appear there. There's no birthday, but there is a Twitter. So that is how you customize the contact template. Finally, let's talk about customizing quick actions. These little buttons right here are quick actions. These buttons perform quick actions, hence the name. So you can do things like send a message, send an email, call, video, whatever the case may be. And yep, you guessed it, you can customize these actions. You can hide the quick actions in either the contact list or the cards, and you can customize the default quick actions that appear for every contact, but it doesn't stop there. You can actually go into each individual contact and customize them on a contact by contact basis. So let me show you how that works. So let's identify a contact, Ducky Benjamin, right click on the quick action and there you can customize it. And that customization applies directly to just that one contact as you can see. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a look at five handy features that make Card Hop a genuinely fun app to use to manage contacts on your Mac. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.